many rainbows you can see. Kia ora, good evening, and if you've just joined us, this is a special edition of 3 News coming to you live from Christchurch, where another major earthquake has struck, and this time people have died. It's only from the air that we can see the extent of what this quake has done to Christchurch. This is the Pine Gould building, and as our helicopter flew over the city this afternoon, it was a scene of devastation. This building, the Pine Gould building, looked like it had been hit by a bomb. Many people remained trapped. Rescue workers were dealing with the worst possible scenario. A building that had snapped in half, bodies trapped in the concrete rubble. Why this building? Well, nobody knows. It was one of many Christchurch landmarks smashed in the latest quake. Again from the air, the damage to Christchurch's iconic cathedral was clear. Its steeple survived the first quake. No such luck this time around. And as we flew around the city, the dust was still rising from buildings that had been flattened. Who knew if there were people trapped in this smoky ruin? Christchurch's beautiful old churches particularly seemed to bring in the firing line this time. Building after building had suffered some sort of collapse. Triage centres like this one were being set up to cope with an expected influx of the injured as well. And this is the scene now live at ground level tonight. Rescuers are still trying to free people trapped in buildings. Some of them are still there hours after the quake struck at 12.51 this lunchtime, nine minutes to one. Police have confirmed there are fatalities as well as many injured. Hospitals across the South Island have been cleared to deal with the casualties and North Island hospitals have also gone on red alert. So lots of casualties. Police saying two buses were crushed by falling debris. Let's start with the moment the earthquake struck. It wasn't quite as big as September's, but this one was a killer. Tony Reid reports. Yeah. <laughs> 